As vaccination efforts gain momentum worldwide, tech companies and countries are now racing to develop a standard way to document vaccination status. In the UK, one company is already rolling out what are known as digital vaccine passports. NBC News correspondent Sarah Harmon joins us now from Heathrow Airport with an exclusive look. Sarah, good morning. Hey, Joe, good morning to you. You know, vaccination passports are nothing new. International travelers are probably familiar with this little yellow book. You've got to show proof of yellow fever vaccination, for example, if you want to visit some countries in Africa. The problem with these little papers is that they're not secure and they're pretty easy to forge. That's got governments, but also private companies scrambling to come up with a better solution today. We got an inside look at what one company in the north of England is trying. They're here. Digital vaccine passports are rolling out for healthcare workers in the north of England. It's the work of British company V Health Passport. What's the advantage of having this digitally? Why not just give everyone a piece of paper? People are starting to sell fake COVID passports so they can go on air airlines. They're using the V code because it is end to end secure. It ensures that none of these uh, certificates, either paper or digital, can be forged. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome They're to the far from security. alone. IBM, Microsoft, even the Danish government are all working on their own versions of a digital vaccine passport to reopen borders and allow people to travel without quarantines. We very much see this pandemic transforming the travel experience, similar to what 9-11 did with security health passports, proof of vaccination going forward is something that we really believe will be with us for some time. IATA, the International Air Transport Association, which is piloting its own vaccine passport, says the biggest hurdle isn't the technology at all, but the lack of clear standards from governments and the World Health Organization. The standards that we need in place, we needed them months ago. So yeah, we need to pace the step up. Now, guys, most of the industry folks that we spoke with said that until we actually know more about how the vaccine works, whether it prevents transmission or just severe infection, you can probably expect that you're going to need to show proof of a negative COVID test in addition to proof of vaccine in order for, to do any international traveling. They also told us the best guess is that this is weeks, not months, away from some airports. Joe, Savannah. Wow, moving quickly. Sarah, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.